This is an interview with my father, George Carroll. Thank you, Dad, for answering these questions. You're welcome. All right. First question. What do you do? Uh, in business, I am what they call a food broker, which is kind of difficult to explain, but I would be the middleman in a business transaction between the operator, let's say whether it's a school or a hospital or a college or a restaurant or nursing home, and a distributor who would actually ship the product to that customer. Mm -hmm. We are a middleman and we get paid a commission based on that. And we have approximately 35 people in the Carolinas with three offices. And we do mostly food service, which is calling on those type of customers. We are not in the supermarket trade. So uh, that's what I've done since 1997 when I moved down here from Cleveland, Ohio. And I've been in the food brokerage business ever since. How did you get into the food business? Uh, I got in the business, my dad was in the business all of his career, and uh, when I was in college, I worked in the summers at a uh, plant that was run by Nestle. It was a bakery plant. You might be familiar with the brand Stouffer's, and it was a Stouffer bakery plant, and I worked there as a college summer student. I found out that they had a training program, and when I was getting out of college, the job market that year was not very good, so I was able to luck into a position on the management training program in 1972. And I began uh, as a managed management trainee after I graduated. What did you do before that? Well, before that, I was in college and uh, had various jobs. Um, I uh, Some of the jobs I had made me insist that I go on to college because they were not fun jobs. One job in college, I dug graves and I worked in the dish room for four years uh, at college and uh, I worked as a, a bartender, a waiter, a busboy. Um, so I had various jobs, like a lot of people do going through college, but it gave me the incentive to get through and get my degree and get into something more serious, more in the career, in the career world. So uh, I began with Stouffer's right after college and uh, as I said, started out in the management training program, and then after that I was in uh, running uh, production lines of Stouffer's. If you're familiar with lasagna and macaroni and cheese, I used to be the guy that ran those production lines. And after that I got into sales, and originally I had New York through South Carolina as my region and discovered the Carolinas and hoped someday I, I, would, I would move here. At that time I was living in Philadelphia, and... Um, I was there eight years, and then from there I went to the West Coast as a division vice president for Stouffer's uh, and spent four years on the West Coast living in Mission Viejo, which is in Southern California. Um, I spent four years there and then came back ultimately to Cleveland, where I had started as a trainee as a vice president of sales. What is your most uh, memorable experience in sales? Um, Memorable, I guess it was the night I got promoted to vice president. I was kind of surprised and I worked very hard in my career and had been lucky with some of the uh, positions that I that I had uh, achieved. And um, we were at our national sales meeting and I was doing a testimonial to my boss who had been 25 years with Nestle Stouffer's and I was giving him his award in front of a couple hundred people. Um, when I went, and then... Uh, he gave his speech and I was walking back up the podium and he told me to sit down and he was announcing that I became a vice president that night. So that was probably the most memorable, um, the big highlight of my career, I guess I would say. What is your happiest moment in your life besides me being born? Well, besides you being born, that was a very happy moment in my life. Um, I guess all of my children being born, two boys, two girls. Um, they were very happy and proud moments for me. And uh, I know you're the youngest of all of them and everybody's done so well and I'm happy to see them progress and go through college and a couple undergraduate school. Uh, so they would, they would probably be the happiest moments of my life. Who has been the biggest influence in your life? Um, influence? Um, I'd have to say probably my father because he was in the food business too, and um, he was very good at what he did. And when I got into sales, we had the same name, so I'm glad he was well-liked, because if he hadn't been, it would have been very tough for me with my name, 
being the same as his, but uh, uh, he kind of gave me some very good direction early on. Uh, you know, taught me how to think really and develop business acumen, uh, kind of how to how to dress and conduct yourself. Uh, he was a very big influence on me. I miss him. How has your life been different than what you'd imagined? Um, I don't know that I ever imagined anything when I was in college. I mean, I guess I always thought that I, I started out in business. I didn't change my major 10 times because I was putting myself through school. So I wanted to make sure that I, that I got through in four years. So I went into marketing, stayed in marketing, graduated with a degree in marketing, uh, later went on to grad school. But I, I really, I, uh, I just thought that I would work in business someday. And when I was lucky enough to land a position with Nestle, I thought, boy, this is a great fit for me. And I was lucky enough to be picked for the management training program, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, um, it just evolved. So I never really imagined I'd be anything else than what I'm doing today. How would you like to be remembered? Um, I guess uh, as someone that was very fair and ethical in business, um, had good business practices from a business standpoint. I guess I want to be re remembered as a good father uh, that took care of his kids and and uh, was there for them when they needed me. Um, and I guess in prioritizing that, I'd rather remember it as a great father <clears throat> or a good father than I would be as a good businessman. Well, thank you, Nan. You're welcome.